Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back, welcome back, it's been a while hasn't it, how are you, did you have a nice Christmas, I was ill over the whole Christmas, it was great, I hardly drank any Baileys, um, I hope you had a lovely Christmas, if you're new, hello, my name is Jo and I do nail stuff, she does stuff and nail stuff, and the stuff she does with nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. <laughs> Let's start the new year with, what did you get for Christmas? Changing the subject. I, this is my favorite present, my crescent moon and star necklace that I've wanted for ages. Let me know what you got in the comments because I'm nosy. I want to know these things. Um, let's start the new year with some new products. I was sent, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, poor Dexter. Yeah, okay, my love, it's fine. Let's start the new year. Where are you going, baby? I can't remember how to do this. I can't remember how to speak and breathe properly. <laughs> um, let's start the new year. Right, right, right. With some new products. I got sent some stuff from Madame Glam. I got sent two, some stuff from their, I think it's called Wandering New York collection and their January collection. They let me pick four from each. So we'll have a look at those and then we'll do something with it. Flashback to the Advent Accent Nail Adventure. That was hard work doing a video a day. Just felt overall run down and exhausted, but I have rested a bit. So let's get on with it. So these are the four I picked from the Wandering New York collection. There are more and I will be getting them because they're so amazing. And they've all got names based on the Home Alone film. So this one is Kevin! when she realizes she's left her child at home. And look, oh, it's so good. Even without doing magnet stuff to it, it is just divine. And it has, do I have a magnet? I do. Does this end bring it out? Oh, yes. Look at, ah, oh, oh, it's so good. And it has a kind of pink flash through it with the magnet. Look, oh, it's so good. And the next one is Just Be Claus, like Santa Claus, although we call him Father Christmas. And this is a really rich, plummy colour. And then when you do this, you get this ugh, shimmery, just... I think I've got a ton of magnetic polishes, but I think these have to be my favourite. They're just so rich. I'll save this one for last because it's amazing. This one is called Wet Bandit, like the robbers. Look. I know I say look at it all the time, but look at it. It's so gorgeous, so rich. It's kind of tealy. And then with this, it brings out these bright blue, shimmery, deliciousness and this one oh my word this one is called lost in new york <sighs> i just i have there are no words look is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen even without using the magnet which looks like this and makes it all go glow oh. it's like it's glowing it's like it's alive I have swatched them. I'd planned to swatch on camera, but the other day I was missing nail stuff. I was missing it a bit and I was in a kind of, I wasn't feeling very well. I just wanted to be cozy. So I got in my pajamas, got in bed, got a tray, got my Madame Glam mini LED lamp and got all the polishes of theirs because I haven't swatched any of them and just sat in bed and had a little swatching session, had my label maker, had something on telly. It was lovely. And I knew I should have waited and done it on camera, but I was just in the mood. I was feeling swatchy and cozy. So here are the swatches for them. I'm not very good at magnet stuff, but I think I've got out a fair bit of the sort of brought up, um, not raised, <laughs> like children, brought out the shimmer in them look 
They're just so gorgeous. So that's, oh, there's the names there if you want them. So that's the ones I've got from that collection. I am definitely getting the rest of the collection because look at them. But I'm going to wait to buy the rest of them because there will be a discount code soon for 50, 50% 50 off. 50% off, which if you're already, already, blah, 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 blah. if you're already a Madame Glam VIP member, then you already get 50% off. But if you're not, start making your list because a 50% discount code for, I think it's the 20th of January, is coming to a Miss Jo's video soon, coming soon near you, coming soon, coming soon to a Miss Jo's video near you will be a 50% off code for Madame Glam. So make a list check it twice and be prepared for the 20th of January for 50% off. I'm going to show you the others they sent me. I haven't swatched these yet. Maybe I'll do it at the beginning of another, the next video where I will tell you the 50% off code, but I'll show you them anyway because it's nail stuff, isn't it? What? What? What is he barking at? So these are the four I've picked from the January collection and look what I've just realised having these together with the magnetic ones. Apparently I have a type when it comes to polish. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. We have Very Berry. Get, get out of the way everybody. And even though it's on the pink side of things, I love it. How nice is that colour? It's just it's just nice. It's just a nice colour. <laughs> How's my describing? Has it improved since last year? No. The next one is Wine O'Clock, which has kind of got a brownie undertone, but still deliciously dark, which is right up my street. Then we have Winter Teal, which I think might look really nice with Very Berry. Maybe we should do something with those. <gasps> oh, wait. No, I've got an idea for something that that might work with. Then we have Blue Monday, which is amazing. Look, how nice will this look with stars? I know. New Year, same Joe. I'm still going to do stars whenever I possibly can. Love that. So that's the four that I picked from the January collection. They also sent me, and I think actually they sent me these with the magnetic ones because I've swatched these. So this is called Agate, 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 something like that. And it's kind of a pinky, pinky, stony. Now, when I first opened this one and the next one, my initial thought was, hmm, not sure. But when I swatched them, this one, Terrazzo, is, like, is more stone, more grey, with flecky bits in. And they have got a tiny bit of glitter in them as well. So I wasn't sure about them until I swatched them. And look how nice they look. It's like, you know when you have a, an outfit or a dress that looks nicer on than off? That's these. These look nicer on than off than they do in the bottle. And I think that'd be really cool to do with a marble. So that's those two. So now let's do some nails. Let's do a set. I don't know what to do. I don't have a plan, but I know I want there to be black in it. And I definitely want to use Kevin. So I think I'll just start and see what happens. I have no plan. I don't like not having a plan. So I'm doing two coats. This is the second coat of perfect black. I'm going to do that on three nails. I did use the one of the magnetic polishes on a client recently and I didn't do a black base. I don't think they need it. But today we're doing black because I'm going to do some swirly swirls. So we'll see the black between the swirls. Now let's take Just Be Claws. Or is this Kevin? No, it's Kevin. Kevin! And I'm going to do a thick swirl oh that was thicker than I wanted never mind and bring it down to about here and then we'll fill that in and we'll see what the magnet does and then before we do any other swirls we'll need to flash the effect that we've given it so it stays in place 
although I could do all of the swirls and do it like that but this way we can get each one how we want it and then once you flash it get it in the lamp it will freeze the um, position of the magnetic -y bits I'm very well versed in the lingo for magnets and magnetic stuff as you can tell Where's the chubby chubby magnet? Where's the chubby chubby magnet? Where's the fucking chubby magnet? So that takes a lot of the colour out. If I turn it round, I want to bring... No, oh, I want to bring the colour up. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, see, I'm rubbish with magnets. Oh, oh, ooh. No, got rid of it now. Let's try the other other end. Oh, which bit does what? I want to. Oh, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Glowing. Same here. Ah, oh, I think this is quite a strong magnet, so I need to work further away. There we go. Go like this. And pull all those shimmery bits to the cell. Oh my god, look at it! To the surface. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna flash that. Oh, it's so beautiful! And now I'm going to do another swirl in Lost in New York, following the same pattern. Thicken it up a bit. But I'm going to leave quite a bit of black between them because I'm thinking glitter, but now is that going to detract from the amazingness that is the polish? I don't know. I think, I think, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think if I start saying a sentence, the answer will come out, but that's not the case. So again, I'm gonna start quite far away because I think this is quite a strong magnet. And then bring all the glowy bits to the surface. So you see, if I'd have done all the stripes at the same time, oh, there we go, this end. Then when I'm doing this one, this one would be affected. So we'll flash as we go. Oh, oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. Look at the glow. It is, it's alive. Get all these shimmery bits to the surface. And then we'll flash that as well. I just can't get over how much I love these polishes. They're insane. That sale cannot come quick enough so I can buy the rest. Maybe I should just become a VIP member. I wasn't going to because I've still got so much of my old brand. That I don't really need to be buying more stuff right now until it starts to sort of get low. I just don't know how much longer I can resist buying all this stuff. Try and get it so that it's front on, because there it looks like it's the surface, but we want it to be when it's front on. So maybe work like this. There we go. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, let's flash. No, let's full cure. While that's in the lamp, shall we have our first of 2022 episode of Lovers and Haters. Let's Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Battle -ba 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 -da. Lovers and Haters. Dex is barking in the garden. Just put him out for a wee. So our lover of the day, should we do more than one? We'll see if I remember. Uh, is Nikki. She says, I never comment, but I had to tell you how happy I am I found your channel. I recently just forget, no, I just threw in the word recently. Oh, it's on the line below. I'm trying to read all the words in one go. I've just begun my gel nail journey recently and your videos are so helpful and inspiring. I've definitely been binging. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for watching, Nikki. Thank you for watching everybody. It really means the world to me. So we will have a hater in a min. We'll do some more nail stuff, stuff with nails. I'm loving this, but I think I want to brighten it up. So I'm going to use Super Cat Eye Gel from Madame Glam, which is which you can mix with other colours as well, but I'm going to use it by itself. It's a silvery, whitey, I'll show you. And I'm going to do that in between each 
of the colours instead of glitter. I think we don't need glitter at the beginning of January because then the nails might look a bit too festive. And we're done with festivities. Now we're just in sucky winter. The only thing that makes winter bearable is gone. We've just got to suck it up and have grey short days. That took a wrong turn. Let's brighten this up. So this is the super cat eye gel. And ooh, look at this. Are you ready? Have I got the right end of the magnet? I don't know. <gasps> it's magical. That It is like magic, isn't it? So I put some of that on my palette and we'll go in between all of the black bits, in the middle of the black bits. And I think I will do it the same way. I'm going to do these thinner, but I'll do them and flash them as well as we go so that they don't get affected when we move the magnet. I don't want them as thick, but thick enough to bring out the shimmer. Yes. What do we think? That's not very even, is it? That's the sound of the magnet slapping against a little tin I've got out. Get the fudge off. Okay, flash. It looks so regal. I've added uh, another bit of the, Kevin! to the top corner, just where there was a bit of a black gap. So I've kind of started what would be another swirl. Let's top it with shiny. So this is what we have so far. That's the little extra bit I added there. I'm using the Madame Glam No Wipe Top. I'm going to do it quite thick. It's quite a thick, creamy consistency anyway, but we want to smooth out the ridges that there'll be between the black and colours. Oh yes, cure. Look how beautiful it is. Is there anything there? Yes, kapow. Oh, they just glow. It's so much better in person than it's showing on here. Not that I can see how it's showing on here, but <laughs> I, I assume so. So that is the first one. I think for the next one, I just want loads of swirls. So kind of the same as what we've done, but I'm just gonna do them a lot thinner. Will I get a good magnet effect? We'll see. You just get loads and loads and loads on there. So the whole thing is just a big swirly, swirling vortex of magnetic deliciousness. Yes, why not? Swirly magnetic deliciousness? Let's do it. I'm going to start in the middle again with this one and I'll make them sort of not as thin as the white in the last one but not as thick as the colours but thick enough so that we can get the full effect of the magnet and I'll start in the middle just to get the main swirl shape and then hopefully we can work around it figure out which end is the right end Okay, and then we'll flash as we go. I think I do want to keep a thin black line between each one, just so they don't get lost in each other, if that makes sense. So we'll go close but not touching. Close but not touching. Do our little Juji, wrong side. Ooh. And then I will repeat this step with, I think I'll put the white in there as well. So we'll just keep going and flashing. I considered trying a black hole with these, but I just don't think I'm ever going to be <laughs> mentally and emotionally over my last black hole video. And I just, I don't know. I just don't think it's ever going to happen for me. I will try again at some point, I'm sure. 
probably off camera until I nail it because I don't want to put you guys through that again. I have seen some other cool techniques though with magnets. I just don't think magnets like me very much. Maybe because of the whole black the whole video. <laughs> Maybe I did them wrong. As in I did wrong by the magnets. They're no longer my friends. Do the little zoop. Oh, this purple is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that over the whole nail. Mm, it's so beautiful, what? What? It's so freaking magical. Let's top it. <laughs> it's magical, it's not sexy. It's magical. Again, we'll do it nice and thick to level out all the height differences between oh look at it oh i hope it's showing on camera as nicely as it is in the real life oh yes let's cure it look at oh. <laughs> it makes me think of crushed velvet oh look at the shimmery sparkly just it's everything. And I think if I had all the colours, which I will at some point, it would look even better because there's greens, there's a gold, and just do it kind of rainbowy. But this, that purple, the white, the blue, the red, <gasps> all of them. What should we do on the others? I don't know. Let's have a think. So for the next one, two, maybe three, two. We're going to do more swirls we're going to stick with swirls but i'm going to make the swirl with the magnets so i'll push one in i'll push one. we'll get the stuff the polish on there we'll push the magnet in from one side and then and then push it in from the other side i'm going to make the swirl out of the magnets i threw myself what was i saying that will give us a swirl that is a kind of more dispersed swirl as opposed to a kind of crisp edged swirl. And then I might put something else on it. I probably will, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So we're going to take Kevin and do it over the whole nail. Oh, this colour's so amazing. Like I said at the beginning, you wouldn't need to necessarily put black under this because two coats you'd have full coverage. And then I'm going to take the magnet and get all the fizz out. No, bring all the fizz up. Is that the right end? Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Woo! So we'll get all the fizz up and out, up and showing. And then I'm going to push in from this side over to there and then from this side over to there at a bit of an angle so we get this swirl like that so we'll cure that and I'm going to do the same with the blue the wet bandit cover the whole thing and then bring out the fizz lift up the whatever is there a word for that? Activate. Activate the fizz. Let's go with that. And then push over there. And then push over here. Might need to fiddle around with it a bit. Because I want the fizz to be activated. But I also want the swirl. Is that swirly enough? Uh, yeah, I think so. So we'll cure that one. While that's in the lamp, shall we have our hater? Let's. I think this is my favourite hater comment ever because it's so dumb. <laughs> our hater is Melissa Fessler. Melissa says, you are uh, annoying <laughs> and a Brit accent Oh dear God, bring it down a notch. <laughs> I'm here for nail tutorial, not 
open mic night. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got so much to say. I don't know where to start. Before I explain why your comment is dumb as a bag of rocks, shall we address your attempt at a functioning sentence? Let's. An ellipsis is three dots, not one, that's a full stop. Not two, three, three dots. I may be overestimating your ability to count to three. That's on me. The word night is spelt N-I-G-H-T. It's not 1995. You're not using a Nokia 6210. It's not 70p a message and you have to keep it under 235 characters. Take one of those ill-placed H's from the word annoying, throw in a G, and you're shiny. It's got a QWERTY keyboard right, even with one hand, it's right there. Use it. Now, my accent. Shall we clarify what I have a British accent in? Is it American English? No. Australian? No. Canadian? No. Indian? No. It's British English. Therefore, not really an accent, this is just how it sounds. <sighs> I'm glad I annoyed you. <laughs> I have the same accent as the Queen. Granted, she's a lot more posh than I am, but it's the same accent and it's the Queen's English. Did that thought ever cross your brain? I've never heard a French Canadian and a French Frenchman in the same room, but I would suspect there is a slight accent difference. I also cannot imagine a French Canadian complaining that a French Frenchman speaking French in France, where French is from, can't say foil gel though, that they have a French accent. Does a Spaniard speaking Spanish in Spain have a Spanish accent? No, that's just how it sounds. If you have a dislike of the British accent, firstly, why, it's lovely. Secondly, if a video starts with someone going, hello, that, that'd be a cue to, that'd be a cue to leave. That'd be a cue to f off. If you continue to watch to the point of getting annoyed, that's on, that's on you. I'm not there holding a gun to your head, making you what, because remember we've established I'm British, no guns. I'm not forcing you to watch. If you are annoyed by the act, stop watching. I'm gonna say a couple of things just to Melissa. I mean, no offense, by what is about to come out of my mouth. I love the big melting pot that is the world and all their accents and whatever. I love that other countries that have English as their first language have different accents. The Australian accent, love it. Irish accent, there's a guy in my local pub has the thickest Irish accent. My trousers just start falling down when he opens his mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna say something just to annoy Melissa. She's already annoyed. I'm doing no harm. She's already annoyed. If anyone's pronouncing things differently, it's not the British. <gasps> I know, oh my God. Are you wearing, is, are you wearing seat belts? Lest there be bodies strewn across floors now from people falling off their chairs at this shocking revelation. <laughs> Who the fuck do I think I am? I'm a British person, speaking British English, in Britain, in England, in Britain, where English is from. If you don't like it, don't watch. With regards to the notch, I most certainly will not take it down a notch. You are not notch captain. You have no authority over which notch I reside at. I hear you and my answer is no. It's like walking past a stranger on the street and yelling at them, Cut your hair. No. Hey, you there. Be wearing a different coat. <laughs> you don't have that power. Just as you wouldn't take an order from me, I will not take one from you. Am I crystal clear on that? And the open mic night? I took that as a compliment. Telling me I'm funny, which I already know because I crack myself up all the live long day. Anyway, had so much fun replying to it. It's all in jest. I do hope Father Christmas bought you a gift voucher for a personality transplant. Shall we get on with some nails?
Ooh, look at those! Oh, they are delicious. So, I think it would be wrong, just plain wrong, for my first video of the year not to have any stars. I know. I can't control myself. Because it does have a kind of galaxy vibe, does it? Am I making it have it? Am I forcing galaxies upon you? Yes, yes I am. We're going to put some stars on. I think they'll look lovely. So I'm taking some gel paint. Just going to do a little dot. Could use white. Could be using their perfect white. I don't know why I picked gel paint. Do you know what else I want to get? In the, um, on the 20th of Jan when that sale is on when I have a juicy discount code for us all. I want to get the rest of the Perfect Collection because they've got all the colours. Perfect red, yellow, green, purple, blue. That's not the order of the rainbow. <laughs> Keep still. Oh, fucked that up. It's fine. Um, <laughs> do I need them all? Yes, yes I do. Realistically? No, I don't. But you can't really turn your nose up at 50% off, can you? Up, down. Oh, I'm rusty. Oh, I haven't painted for a while. Feels like ages. Okay, let's add some tiny little dots. Do, do, do. One over here. Any more? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Will that do? Just subtle. Let's cure that. I put more dots on and so it begins. I don't know what it is with me and dots. I just They just make everything magical and twinkly and on black they look like stars. That's what it is. It's the star thing. Anyway, let's top them. So I did the same on the red. Oh my goodness. So you know I said I didn't use black as a background for the for this um, Kevin when I did it on a client I think I prefer it on black and having some black showing but she didn't want black nails she wanted them mostly that color so we did the first coat and magnetized <laughs> magneted that and then did the second coat and did the magnet in the same place right cure and the blue one the wet bandit oh it's amazing how nice will that be for in the summer for like mermaid sets and things? That blue. Oh, see, I know it was a winter release, but these colours are not just for winter. Oh my word, would you look at the cosmic beautifulness. <gasps> yes, that is bonkers. Love it. Let's do something on the last one. Let's do some bling. We know how good I am at bling. So we'll do a swirl, sorted. That won't require any pattern designing. I'm just gonna do a swirl of base coat, gem gel. I think I'm gonna use base coat. I'd rather save the gem gel I have for clients. Not that you guys aren't important but these nails won't be enduring life. So I'm just gonna use base coat and I'm gonna do it in a swirl and then just slap a bunch of crystals on and maybe some caviar beads. I could use silver caviar beads that would pick up on the white silvery magnetic polish. Yes. Then should I have it more of an organized swirl though? Oh, I don't want to do organized. We'll just make it up as we go. But I found some crystals that are these sorts of colors. Yes. Yes. So let's do a swirl across here. And we'll just do a smattering of all the colours. No rhyme or reason. Why like that? Because I just tried to do something different and it stressed me out. I do not have any pleasure doing crystals. I just don't because I'm rubbish at it and they stress me out and they're fiddly as fuck. Boop. Bing. Bam, splat, pop, ping, whiz, bam, blip, blop, 
let's try and get them in some kind of swirly, swirly swirl. We'll take some caviar beads and just place them here, there and everywhere. Oh, you little, right. Those who are stuck together, you can stay together. I won't split you up, don't worry. Do you remember at school when they were doing teams for PE and stuff? And the, our, our teachers would put us in teams and they would go along and number you. One, two, three, four. And they'd give people random numbers and they were teams. And you'd try and work out their pattern and line up in the right order so you were in, in teams with your friends. <laughs> oh, I said I wouldn't split you up. There you go. Never worked though. They were on to us. To be fair, I'd mess around with whoever was in my team. Oh, where do you think you're going? Right, let's cure this. Let's top the bling. It's the blingy. Oh, that's really, have they moved? Have you moved? No. What is that? It's fine, it's fine. Let's top it. We're going to use the top to seal everything in. I don't mind going over caviar beads, but you don't want to go over the crystals. If this was a person, I would get a detail brush and try and get in between all the little gaps. But it's not, so I shan't bother. But yeah, just very carefully, almost just kind of touch tiny bit in between each one. Oh, fluff. I think I'm just gonna cure that shit in there. Right, in the lamp. Whenever I put crystals on, I always wipe the nail after with some isopropyl alcohol just on a lint wipe, a lint free wipe, which mine aren't. They're called lint free wipes. They're linty as f but I really like them at the same time because they're four ply. Anyway, what do I do? I wipe them just to get the wax off. I'm gonna sneeze. When I need to sneeze, when a sneeze is brewing, oh, it's coming, <sighs> bless me. When a sneeze is coming, I think of peas and Jesus and it stops it from coming. I don't know why, didn't hear it anywhere, I just made it up. <laughs> so this is the final set. I so hope that the awesomeness of those magnetic polishes is showing on camera. They do look absolutely spanking in the flesh. Nothing on them. Bam! <laughs> I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. I am absolutely loving this collection, The Wandering New York, and I can't wait to get the rest of them. I will wait until I've got that 50% discount code for January the 20th, which I will share with you all in the next video. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've had a nice time. Have you had a nice time? If you have, then stop. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. There's no need to be that theatrical. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, bye. Oh, Dex, no. Dex! Don't do it. Don't do it. I will resist in the description. Show us, show, 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 show,